Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Train Dude in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in this simulation. So without further ado, let's hop into this. So workshop should already be here, it's called the Ryan system, there it is. Let's do this. Looking good, right, so... Let's take a bit of time to load. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Ooh, quite a long time. Right. By the way, it's spelled Ryan, but pronounced Rian. Okay, Rian. The Rian system. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, so to the star itself. That's where we always start. So Rian, the star itself. Right, welcome to the captivating Rian solar system, a realm filled with dazzling array of planets and celestial objects. Let's delve deeper into this extraordinary universe and discover the hidden stories of each cosmic wonder. I like that intro. I love that. <laughs> That's good. Right, first of the planets. Well, actually, the star itself first. Hang on. At the heart of the Rian system lies a radiant yellow dwarf, resembling our own sun, but e exceptionally stable, never flaring. Okay. Right, first of the planets. We're going straight on realistic lighting mode, that's for sure. There you go. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so. First of the planets. Once a flourishing... This is uh, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scorched face. Look at that. Once a flourishing and hatable Earth-sized planet, its fate took a dramatic turn when a colossal interstellar object knocked it out of the gold lock zone. It was forced into an orbit dangerously close to Rian, become entirely locked and experienced scorching temperatures of 1,479 degrees Celsius. Despite its harsh conditions, whispers of ancient life and surviving fossils linger on the planet's colder regions. So anything on this side may be a little more discoverable. Oh, it's not going to do this again, is it, the game? Oh, that's so annoying. Keep that switched off. Notice how when I zoom in and out, it changes the settings. Stop with the flashlight. We don't want the flashlight. Oh, that's so annoying. Don't do it. Auto switched off. Come on, game. Right. That's something they knew they added in this update. Um, right. Next up, we have this object over here. Nesku. Okay. So this one's looking fine from behind. Okay. All right. So... The ignap ignatic, world, ignatic world is a hot lava planet. Its surface adorned by mesmerizing volcanoes with Earth-like atmosphere. Everything on it is kept warm, creating a stunning and fiery landscape. Glowing locks illuminate the planet during its night hours, making it a breathtaking sight to behold. Very nice. I like that. Cool, cool concept. Very cool. All right, next up, we've got Rodon. There's an object here as well. It's interesting. We'll come back to that later. Object that possibly killed this planet we just visited. Nesku. Interesting. Right, next one out. Rodon. Looking good. Oh, hello. Right. Moon as well. Twice the size of Earth. Rodon is a Hattel planet with a fascinating history. It has a small Hattel moon called Cune, which was once an Arctic-like dwarf planet before being captured into Rodon's gravitational embrace. There's the moon there. Cool. So there they are. Turn the viewer off. It's the parent planet. They're looking good. All right, moving on. Who is next? So we got this one. So this one here. It doesn't actually say its name, but it must be this one. So Mars-like planet. This tidy locked planet, reminiscent of Mars, once teamed with life and water. However, its early modern civilizations discovery of nuclear weapons led to their own demise, leaving the planet scared and barren. Scared or. Oh. Scarce and barren. Yeah. Alrighty. Looks like we got this one over here. Pantarina. Exiting the gold lock zone, we encounter this one. Another Mars like planet with captivating purple atmosphere, formed where from a colossal collision between two rocky planets. It boasts four asteroid moons. As these moons draw closer, the planet is posed to a acquire majestic wings akin to its cousin Mars. Um so Disc, the largest and most intriguing moon presents an enigmatic and surreal landscape. Its surface is mesmerizing blend of strange blue and red hues. So whereabouts are we? Uh, where is that? So that's this one here. Okay. Oh, very interesting. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Blend of strange blue and red hues creating a striking visual spectacle against the backdrop of the planet's purple atmosphere. Scientists and astronomers are baffled by the origin of these unique colours, theorising that they may be a result of uh, pressure mineral deposits of exotic atmosphere phenomenon. Okay. 
Its surface is dotted with formations including deep, winding canyons that crisscross the terrain and vast cratered plains that hint at a two-minute uh, history. Researchers have noticed that the moon's uh, topography appears to shift and change over time, leading to a plethora of unanswered questions about the forces at play on its surface. Okay, very cool. And then you got the other moon over here that's nowhere near as exciting. <laughs> so there it is. So there's also more about this. So mysterious geyser-like eruptions occasionally erupt from um, this one's crust here. Deezer's crust, spewing a mix of blue and red particles into space. The nature of these eruptions remains unknown, leaving astronomers eager to uncover the underlying mechanism such phenomena. Okay, and then the other moon here... So Nixai, eh? Oh, there's lights, hey, check that out. It's like a space base on it. That's cool. Cool view of the parent planet as well there. Nicely done. All right, the city lights in the asteroid. You don't see that very often. That's pretty awesome. That may make the fun now, actually. That's that's cool. Well, overshadowed by the uh, grandeur of disc. Yeah, it definitely is overshadowed by the looks of it. The other moon is no less fascinating. This dimensional celestial body features a pot a pockmarked surface peppered with craters of various sizes. Its rocky terrain reflects the tremor tumultuous history it endured during the formation of the Ryan system. What sets it apart from its sibling moon is the presence of peculiar luminous blue markings scattered across its surface. These enigmatic markings capture uh, the curiosity of scientists and stargazers alike, as their origin and purpose remain a tantalising mystery. Some experts speculate that they could be uh, remains of ancient cosmic events, while others entertain the possibility of a unique interaction between the moon and its magnetic field and the planet's magnetic field. Nicely done. Despite its small size, it plays a significant role in the gravitational dance between Pantera and its other moons, contributing to dynamic interactions within the moon system. Okay. There's a lot of description about these two moons. This is fantastic stuff. Right. The moon's desk and Nixie adds an aura of mystique and wonder to the already fascinating world of Panta Arena. Uh, their particular surfaces and unexplained phenomena make them alluring targets of future space explorations, inspiring scientists and adventurers alike to seek answers and unravel the secrets they hold. As the Ryan system continues to captivate our imagination, these moons are sure to play an essential part in the ongoing cosmic tale. That is seriously cool. The amount of detail put into two asteroid moons, that blows most people's moons out of the water, because most people just put asteroid moons and never put any description, but these ones, look at the the amount of customization and thought put behind those. It just shows, you know, when there's a will, there's a way. Very nicely done. Awesome stuff there. There's only two other... They're the only two moons that appear, so I think he said there was four, but they're the only two that have shown up, which is pretty weird. Right. Was there a ring system? Because we're on... Um... Oh, I can't get to object visibility. Oh, I can't get to the button. Uh, I'm trying to get to the... I don't know if we're on um, enhanced knocks. I don't know if there's a ring. Oh, no, there's no. There's definitely no ring system there. Actually, never mind. All right, cool. Right, so where we're we heading next? Can it top what we've just seen there? So next up, we have got uh, Nas Naskit, a small rocky planet adorned with a vibrant green atmosphere. Okay, the atmosphere must be switched off. Let's try and get that switched on. Visuals. Oh, uh, the atmosphere is missing. Okay, let's just add one ourselves because it should. Maybe uh, maybe because it was submitted in an older version of the game. That's probably why. Hey, give us an atmosphere. That's a bit annoying. Oh, we can't see it. Ah. But yeah, the old version of the game, that probably has caused us a bit of a problem. If I'd had a bit of... There's its atmosphere it should have. <laughs> That's probably more like it. So it's probably more... Supposed to look more like that. But yeah, it's just the, the update of the game has probably changed it a bit. But oh well. It is home to an astonishing ray of moons with its deeply freezing temperatures of minus 199 degrees Celsius. It presents a challenging environment for any in Creed Explorer. Okay, it's got a lot of moons. They're all custom named as well. Very nicely done. Are they all customised? I'm guessing they're probably just randoms, aren't they? Yeah, they don't look custom. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Cool, right. Moving on from those guys. So we've got Runda and Ulne. That's probably what this barrier center is all about. Never zoom into the barrier centers because you will get stuck. Right, here they are. Right. Looking very similar in appearance. These two binary dwarf planets share a unique bond, forming together in the early days of the Ryan system, or Rian system, sorry, though they lack an atmosphere. It is accompanied by an asteroid moon named Rovide. Their location in the outer regions of the asteroid belt adds to the air of mystery to their existence. So that's a little moon there. 
Very interesting. The, the center of gravity is actually inside the bigger one. Okay. It's not like Pluto and Charon where the center of gravity is actually outside both objects. That's pretty crazy. Right, next up we got this one here. Canu Stask. The first gas giant to capture the system. It boasts two captivating ring systems encircling a large super sized body with six discovered moons, including Onus T, catalyzed by its dense green atmosphere and carbon dioxide and methane. This gas giant presents a stunning and scientifically intriguing sight. Excellent. There you go. Onto the moons. Of the asteroids. We need to go to Onus T. That's the one we need to visit. So that's this one here. Cool view of the parent planet, and there it is. Again, missing that atmosphere though, which is a bit annoying. But that's just because the game's updated, which is a bit annoying. But let's try and add it back. What did I just do? I just wanted the atmosphere. Oh, game! Don't be so difficult, game. Why do you do that? We just want a green atmosphere. Oh, it's not even showing it. Oh, what is that? Oh, game. Yeah, it's very, very annoying. Oh, it's going to look like more like that, I'm guessing. Let's just put it back to zero. Yeah, that's the only thing with these sometimes is, you know, everyone uploads their system and then the game updates and it'll break stuff. But imagine that with a green atmosphere. There you go. So, there's all of those guys. Next up, we've got Very over here. The rocky planet tucked away in the outer solar system. It remains shrouded in mystery. One to only time will reveal the secrets hidden beneath its surface. Okay. City lights on it as well. Very cool. There's its moon as well. Cool. Alright. Next up we got Alga. A Saturn sized gas giant. Over here. There's a lot of fragments in this system as well. I'm picking up on. There you go. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Alrighty. So... Saturn's sized giant astounds it with its colossal form, capable of engulfing entire planets. It's proudly displays five moons, um, adding a sense of grandeur to its presence. Sal be the alluring moon of the majestic gas giant. Alga stands out like a gem in the Rian system. The celestial wonder captures the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts with its memorizing features, particularly its vibrant red Venus like atmosphere. Okay, so. The moons. That's the first of the moons here. Check them all out. Second moon. Third one there. There you go. Fourth one. Other oh, Salby over in there as well. Four. And they got the fifth moon. And Nasty Salby at the back there. That's the sixth one. Cool. So Alga. That's cool. Alright, nice. So, moving on next. Montast. Oh, no, there's more. Hang on. Before we go over there, there's more description. As you approach Salby, you are greeted by a sight that resembles a painting from a science fiction dream. The moon's atmosphere, a rich hue of crimson red. So, this needs a red atmosphere as well. Let's try and add it on. Oh, that's so annoying. Why does the game do that? Okay, just a tiny... We just add a tiny bit of on there. There you go. That's what we want. It's got its original color. That's how it should look. Cool. Right. Resembles a painting from science fiction dream. The moon's atmosphere, a rich hue of crimson red, casts an overly glow over its rugged surface. Sunsets on this are a spectacle to behold, as the dying light paints the horizon with hues of red, orange, and violet, creating an ethereal and mesmerizing scene. Let's try and have a little look at that ourselves. So, I think we're behind the parent planet at the moment. Another oh, no, sun is visible. Never mind. So down here. That's a good little... Oh, yeah. Very red. Looking good. Very, very nice. Cool. Right, now moving on to Montast. The first of the ice giants. Over here, Where are we? There it is, my friend here. Cool. First ice giant in the system... Uh, dwarf in Jupiter in size presents an awe-inspiring sight. Its six discovery moons surround a particularly fascinating one named Gortus, a small gas giant in its own right. Oh, okay, there it is. Gortus. Nice. There's all the other moons as well. Have a quick little look at those guys. There we are. Come on. So one, two, third one, three, and four, and five. Oh, Curian, that's got a little bit of a little bit of ocean going on there. Very nice. 
Next up, we've got a Gargantuan Ice Giant. That's this one here. Tuna Arena. Six times larger than Earth. Its three moons offer intriguing possibilities. One of these moons lies within the Gold Lock Zone, potentially harboring life amid its icy surface. Nice. It's getting pretty dark out here. So there's the moons as well. One, two, and three. I like that one with the lights on it. Check that out. There you go. Very glowy. Looking good. It's a nice big splash of lights on that one as well. Next up, we've got Arunu, the distant planet. That's really far out. Look at that. Okay. All the way over here. Very dark. Voyager 2's here. <laughs> the distant planet residing far from the inner areas of the solar system hosts a single moon orbited by none other than Voyager 2 spacecraft, a relic from the past. It must have ended up here after a long period of time. It also surprises with the presence of an enigmatic spirit, spherical cow raising questions on the origin of its purpose. So there, it's that thing, isn't it? I know what it is. It's that weird cow thing that's in the game. That, <laughs> where is it? That thing. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, bye-bye. Then we've got a, a generic moon as well, by the looks of it. So, the Reun system... Weaves a tale of wonder, adventure, and discovery from the scorching lava planets to the icy giants and mysterious cow. There is no shortage of marvels to explore. Thank you for granting us permission to embark on this mesmerizing journey through your magnetic universe. Very nice. I really enjoyed that. I really like those two asteroid moves. They were really cool. Where's my search button gone? If I... What's it doing there? I'm sure it was... Oh, my search button back, game. What's going on here? Have they moved the search button? I'm sure I had it over here. <laughs> where have I put it? Well... It's there, but... Oh, there you go. Yeah, put it back there. That's better. Yeah. That's more like it. Always on the left, the search button. I must have dragged it over in another... Last time I was on the game or so. I don't know when I did that. Right. Cool. So I want to go back to this. So this is one that wasn't mentioned in the description. Object that possibly killed... Uh, Nasku, wasn't it? So there's no description about it, but it, apparently it possibly killed it. Interesting, and that's obviously quite close to the planet here, which was the volcanic one with the red. Yeah, it's strange. And there's also another random object here as well. I'm guessing it's a comet, maybe it is. Yeah, interesting. And that's slinging out that object as well. That's very strange. That object that possibly killed it. It's like it's almost like it's on a collision course with it as well. What happens if you press play? Does it actually collide with it or? No, it does actually sling past. It would have been cool if it was like programmed to crash into it. That would have been quite good. But anyways, there we are. So that does it for this system. So again, a massive thank you to the train dude for sending this in. I really enjoyed that, actually. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this as well. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. And yeah, stay tuned for more subscribe systems coming in the future as always. We're getting close to the episode 300 mark now. So we'll have to do a live stream for that as well once we get there, like we always do. That should be pretty awesome. But yeah, that was said and done, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a like and go for 100 likes. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And yeah, that was said and done, everyone. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.